gonna make a tropical negroni but lower in alcohol we got a banana peel we're gonna do about uh, one and a half cups of sweet vermouth now we're gonna do a pineapple infused aperitif or in amaro i'm using rituals aperitif it's nice and bitter i like it it's got rhubarb grapefruit peel vibes about a cup and a half and about half a, a pineapple's outer layers what are they called a tablespoon of coconut oil and i'm gonna fat wash some ritual alternative gin another one and a half cups of that this isn't non-alcoholic but it's super low proof the only alcohol is going to be from our sweet vermouth you can make it alcohol use your favorite gin use your favorite amaro let these all sit for a day it's been a it's been a day now let's strain these out the coconut fat wash is subtle, but it's gonna give it a nice silky texture and that coconut oil taste, it's nice. Have some class, Frisia glass. I'm gonna serve this on cracked ice. Three quarter ounces of our banana peel infused vermouth. One ounce of our coconut fat washed gin. And one ounce of our pineapple infused aperitif. Pineapple star anise bitters, and I think it really makes that pineapple pop. Give this a stir. And to kind of make the aperitif pop a little bit more, there's grapefruit flavor going on in there. So we're gonna garnish with a grapefruit oil from the peel. There's always oils on the outside, so we always wanna wipe that around the rim. It's nice. Super delicious. Still get that bitterness, get that tropical vibes going on.